Hey y'all, Steve here. Today I want to show you how I add audio to some of the still photos sitting on my camera roll in my iPhone. The way I do this is I use the app iMovie with my iPhone. So let's get right to it. I'm going to assume that you either have iMovie or will get iMovie. It's $4.99 I think in the App Store, so let me navigate to it. I'm going to open up iMovie. Now this is what it looks like when you first open up iMovie. And it's telling me to tap the plus to start a new movie or trailer. So down here in the bottom right, I'm going to tap plus. It's going to bring up a new project. I am going to tap movie. And now iMovie is prompting me with what type of theme that I want to use. And it's highlighted on a simple theme and I'm going to leave it there. So I'm going to click create movie at the top by tapping it. Okay, now I'm basically in the iMovie editor. In the middle on the left, you will see a little film icon. I'm going to tap that and insert the media that I'm looking for. Once I tap that, you can see at the bottom of the screen, iMovie is telling me, okay, video, photos, or audio. Right there, it's pulling up the video that is currently on my phone. But we're going to talk about how to add audio to a photo today. So I'm going to click Photos. Once again, it brings me up a selection. I'm going to go to the top and, collect and select my camera roll. Now, iMovie is saying, okay, here's the photos on your phone. Select one. So let's go through here, and I'm going to select this photo right here. It's an older photo of my dad. So I'm going to select it. Now that particular photo has now been dropped in my timeline on iMovie. Now the story behind this is my wife found this photo not too long ago and said, is this your dad? And I looked at it and I said, well, it sure enough is. And my dad's been dead a few, dear, few years now. And this we think that this photo was taken in the early 1960s. So I have now dropped this photo into my iMovie timeline. With this photo sitting in my timeline, I can take my thumb and kind of scrub across it. And you can see iMovie is going to move that still photo and give it the Ken Burns effect. And I really like that. Now the photo itself is pretty cool. It's my dad. And I can share that. But I think it would be really neat if I added some audio to this photo. And then I could share it with my family and friends. I think they get a lot more out of it. To place audio on this photo, down at the lower bottom of my screen, you'll see the microphone icon. I'm going to tap that. iMovie now is telling me that it's ready to record. I'm going to tap the record button. I'll receive a countdown, and then I am free to record whatever audio that I want. Hey everybody, mom found this old photo of my dad the other day sitting in an old shoebox. It's really wild. There was no writing identifying where or when it was taken. So by the looks of the photo itself, I think this was in Florida and I think it was in the early 1960s. Looks like my dad had quite the swagger. I'm going to hit stop. Now it's going to ask me to accept it or review it. I'm going to go ahead and accept it. I tap accept. And as you can see in the timeline now, the purple bluish looking line, that is my audio. Now let me scrub through. I want to show you something here. You look here, the photo ends, but yet the audio continues. So there's a way to fix that. What I'm going to do is tap the portion of the photo it's going to highlight in yellow and at the very end you're going to see a bold yellow line I'm going to be able to trim or extend this by just taking my finger and running it out towards the end of my audio so I'm going to line it up with the audio and let go so now my audio pretty much matches the length that I'm going to show this photo 
now I'm going to return back to the beginning. I'm going to hit the play button and see how it does. Hey, everybody. Mom found this old photo of my dad the other day sitting in an old shoebox. It's really wild. There was no writing identifying where or when it was taken. So by the looks of the photo itself, I think this was in Florida, and I think it was in the early 1960s. Looks like my dad had quite the swagger. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to select the gearbox down at the bottom right. I'm going to have a few options. I want this to fade in from black, so I'm going to tap that. I also want it to fade out to black. I'm going to tap that also. I'm going to click done at the top right. Now I'm going to click the arrow at the top left to go back to my project. Now there you have your movie project. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tap my movie so I can change the title. I'm going to change it to my dad. Now by selecting the middle icon, the box with the arrow, I'm going to be able to share this video directly to my social media. Or in my case, I may want to just save the video to my camera roll. So I'm going to tap the save video icon at the bottom left. It's going to ask me what size. I want to go HD in the 720p. I'm going to select that. And now iMovie will start exporting this. iMovie gives me a notification that it was exported to my camera roll. I'm going to tap OK. Now I'm going to navigate to my camera roll. And here at the very bottom, I see a 29 second video. Let me tap it. Hey everybody, mom found this old photo of my dad the other day sitting in an old shoebox. It's really wild. There was no writing identifying where or when it was taken. So by the looks of the photo itself, I think this was in Florida and I think it was in the early 1960s. Looks like my dad had quite the swagger. Well, there you go. That's how I add audio to some of my still frame photos just to make them more interesting. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like, share, and subscribe this video with your friends and your social media networks, and I will see you in the next video.